We've got the heavyweights for you. It's a six rounder as Ken Frank out of Lethbridge will be taking on Ty Big Sky Fields. He has an impressive record of 43 wins and two losses. What's even more impressive is this guy is 6'8 and about 280 pounds. The United States around the world is uh, one of the top heavyweights in the world. Please welcome to the podium Ty Fields. Yeah, definitely focus is, is a main factor. Uh, consistency, dedication, uh, using the tools that I have to make sure that when I get out there, I, I uh, you know, I, I, I initialize on, on what I've been doing and just, and just do it really cleanly. You know, I'm going to prevail in, in all categories, speed, strength, uh, stamina, and uh, technique and skills and dedication. All things been going good. Uh, training camp's been going great. My body's been responding really well, and uh, I'm excited to get out there. We've been working on footwork, moving in and out. Uh, when I punch, to uh, bring my feet with me, try not to lean forward. Footwork, uh, hand speed, and uh, just an overall mental toughness. Well, I treat every fight like it's a championship fight. You can't uh, underestimate or, or overestimate anybody. Uh, you got to go out there and uh, give it 100% and uh, know that your training's been going great and going to perform well. Please welcome to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Ken Frank! He's got a lot of man to battle tonight. Yes, he does, and he's an interesting character, Ken Frank. You know, I had a long, uh, lengthy conversation with him and his pops, who's his trainer. This guy actually does his road work with a pet buffalo. <laughs> I was shocked to hear that, but it's true. <laughs> well, that's actually, uh, you know what, you you talk about Ken Frank, and he is a, uh, yeah, there you see, he's got cut one, his, uh, one, one, one tough Indian. <laughs> he they seems it. Yeah, he likes to have fun. Ty Big Guy, Big Sky Fields coming into the music of ACDC's Hell's Bells. 275 pounds he weighed in for this fight. And uh, actually, Ken Frank came in at 280 pounds. So, but there's a good look right there at Ty Big Sky Fields. He's uh, six foot eight and uh, just a tremendous physical specimen, Billy C. This guy has the biggest hands I've ever seen in my life. It, 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 when you look at his hands, they look abnormally big, almost like he's got a baseball glove on it. It is freakish. And uh, 39 knockouts to his credit, that's more fights than some fighters have in a whole career. And he's got 39 knockouts. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape and we can show you the numbers. 32-year-old Ken Frank, he does have an uh, age advantage on uh, Big Sky, but uh, a little bit of height disadvantage, four inches. The weight is fairly close, and uh, this should be a good one as Ken Frank has uh, bitten off a big piece of pie, but he's willing to take on Ty Fields, and you got to give him a lot of credit. Let's get the official introductions and into the ring. Here's Ryan Meyer. Ladies and gentlemen, the semi-main event of the evening is scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division. Your referee for this bout is Len Coibisto. The judges are Mark Adele, David Haas, and David Bilosicourt. Introducing in the blue corner, weighing in at 280.6 pounds, with a record of three wins, zero losses, and one draw, from Lethbridge, Alberta, Ken Frank! <laughs> and introducing in the red corner, weighing in at 274.4 pounds, with a record of 43 wins, two losses, zero draws, from Edmonton, Alberta, 
both these trunks are good. Keep your punches above the belt line. Respect the rules, respect each other, follow my instructions. When I say break, both you stop punching, take a full step back. Protect yourselves at all times, touch them up and come out of the belt. Lenny Coivisto, the referee, tied Big Sky Fields, looking for win number 44 on his record. As far as uh, Ken Frank is concerned, uh, he said at the press conference, you know what, this has kind of been a dream of mine. I've seen Ty Fields fight before, and uh, to be able to actually step into the ring and battle him is in a way a dream come true, and it's a no-win uh, situation uh, for me. Uh, he, you know, he wants to come in and uh, just basically do a great job, so we'll see what Ken Frank has to offer with uh, Ty Big Sky Fields. Well, he, he told me he feels he's been in a lot of battles just every day uh, at his job. Break, break, stop, he's a stop, single stop, parent, break. and uh, he's ready for this this big test for him. And big is, uh, I'm saying that lightly, we got a, a, a square, total footage. And we got a lot of feet in the ring right now. Well, Ty Fields was originally scheduled to face uh, Toronto's Ray Olabalawi, and uh, Olabalawi came down with uh, what he had indicated as a uh, cut during sparring and uh, that really got to the uh, got to the gut of Ty Fields. Uh, Ty basically publicly saying, you know what, like uh, Ray Olaf Balawi was scared to face me, and that's why he backed out the way he did. He did not believe that there was a cut. He wanted to see pictures. He wanted to see, see, see something because there is the internet. You can send pictures over the internet, and Billy C., they haven't seen anything to show that Ola Balawi really was telling the truth. You know, I, I spoke with the camp uh, yesterday late afternoon, and they swear that there's a cut, and uh, uh, they are in the process of producing uh, the documentation for that. Uh, otherwise, he's going to be suspended. I just don't see why they don't take a picture with a camera and just uh, send it uh, over email. It's easy enough to do that, and it solves all the issues. But Ty Fields was very upset about that, and uh, you can tell early on in this fight with uh, Ken Frank, he's, he's showing some of that emotion on Ken. Uh, he's, uh, Ty is not a very happy guy right now, and he's not going to take it easy on uh, Ken Frank. And Ken Frank, on the other hand, is a guy that you got to give credit for. Four professional fights, and uh, he's stepping in and fighting a guy like Ty Fields. Ty Fields is a southpaw, too, and uh, watch that big left hook of his. Uh, it is dangerous. It has uh, given Ty a lot of KOs during his career. So, And I'm sure uh, Ken Frank is very aware of the power that Ty Fields possesses with those huge hands of his. And with that power, Ken Frank better keep his, ha his hands up. They are way down. My normal color man here on Rogers Sportsnet is Ken Lacusta, former Canadian two-time champion, and uh, he's actually the trainer of Ty Big Sky Fields. And uh, Kenny told me uh, beforehand, he said, you know what, James? He said, uh, Ty's in great shape, and they've been working on a lot of different moves for Ty that uh, he hasn't worked on before. So, uh, you know, uh, since uh, the loss to Monty Barrett, uh, Ty Fields has had one goal in mind. Is that That's to make a few changes to make him more of a stronger heavyweight in uh, the world rankings and uh, he's on his way doing that uh, as we speak according to Ken Lacusta. Well you can see Ken, Ken Lacusta's influence on him. Traditionally Ty Fields uh, comes out winging punches and he has not done that tonight so uh, uh, Ken Lacusta making a, a big impact on Ty Fields. Good first round and it ends with a couple of body shots between Ty Fields and Ken Frank. Announcing a special offer from Canada's largest diamond dealer, Independent Jeweler. Monsies, along with Billy C, we're giving you the details, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, it's been a fun night so far here at the Shaw Conference Center. Ty Fields demonstrating that uh, for a big man, he's got speed, and he's extremely dangerous with that southpaw stance he is. Action-packed night of fights. Every fight we've seen so far has been a great one, James. Ken Lacusta throwing out instructions from his corner. He wants uh, Ty Fields to use that jab. Does have the height advantage. Wants to back off Ken Frank and then level that uh, southpaw blow that uh, could put Frank down to the canvas if it's thrown properly. And you can see Ken Frank, he's paying very close attention, Billy C, to every single punch that Ty Fields is throwing. Yeah, he seems he seems to be uh, um, feeling where those punches are coming from before they they land. You know he is moving slightly, and uh, Ty Fields hasn't really landed anything super hard, but he's definitely getting through uh, the lack of defense by Ken uh, Ken Frank. Good combination by Ty. 
Ty Fields as he backs Ken Frank into the corner. Frank tying up uh, Fields there, and uh, actually Ty Fields getting the warning from referee Len Coivisto. Ty looks like he's breathing through his mouth already, James. And, uh, you know, if anything, you know, I know that there's uh, always ring rust involved when you haven't fought in a year, but the, the, the you know, the, the road work type stuff. A little bit of a low blow there, and uh, Ken, Flan Ken Frank decided to uh, just go down for a second. I think he was expecting the referee to notice that it was uh, a bit of a low blow. And uh, so, but he ended up, uh, that is going to be counted as a knockdown. Was that scored as a knockdown? Did they score that as a knockdown? Yes, they did. <laughs> Ty Fields coming back now with some big shots, thinking that he may have Ken Frank on the ropes. Hey, what? We just got word from the truck that they, they did a quick replay, and it was not a low blow, so uh, it might have been just a really good body shot. Well, that's a smart move by Ty Fields in his camp to work that body that uh, clearly looks soft on uh, Ken Frank. Ken Frank has to let his hands go. Yeah, he's holding back. James, does it look like he's in I want to survive this fight mode? He just took a couple oh, of big shots right there. That was a solid fight. I mean, solid punch that really hurt him, and I don't think he's going to get up from this. Ah, uh, the bell rang, so we'll see if Ken Frank makes it to the corner. Oh, looks he's like, a, he's like. in trouble. He's in trouble. He may, well, we'll see what happens if he can uh, recover. He's got uh, he's got some time. Right. At, Let's take a look at uh, that punch that uh, I thought was a low blow from my vantage point. It looked like a low blow. Look closely. Oh, yeah, no, that was just a shot right in there. Right between the ribs, and it, I, it looked like what kind of got me there was, was that, the delay, right? Yeah. I, and here's a flurry at the end where Ty that Fields. Was that was that left that, that really put him in trouble. So now we head into round number three, and uh, Ty Fields is uh, obviously looking to put away Ken Frank, who kind of struggled in that last round. Here we go, round number three with the heavyweights, Ty Big Sky Fields looking to finish off his opponent, Ken Frank out of Lethbridge, and Another now, body shot, James. Now a body shot again, and uh, Frank is going down, and our referee, Len Vista was calling the bout. That was another, it was almost a signature, the same one as, as before. It was a delayed reaction. Body, body we've, we've been talking about it all night. Body shots of, of the killer. So kind of a anticlimactic end to this fight as uh, Ty Big Sky Fields takes out Ken Frank, and he hit him with some pretty big shots, but they weren't the shots I think the, the public was looking for. They were looking for shots that were more to the head. And uh, we're going to get a look right here, Billy C, as to why Ty Fields did what he did. And right there, like, that was even a tough vantage point for us. But just look at that body shot. And just a delay again where he got hit. But you can tell that is a power shot that Ty Fields landed. He's able to land. I know we got the delay here, but uh, a couple of seconds prior to that, it was a solid. Here we got another shot, boom, and that was just a fully extended, very powerful body shot right there. All right, well, let's go into the ring, and Ryan Meyer has our official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Len Coivisto stops the bout at 14 seconds of the third round. Your winner. By technical knockout is Ty Big Sky Fields. Here we are. Can somebody pass me a chair? I need to get up to the right level here. Ty Big Sky Fields, uh, another victory uh, for your credit. Uh, 
Ken Frank took this fight on last second notice. It, it looked to me as if uh, we saw a little bit different tie fields than what we've seen in the past. You were really focusing in on the body, and instead of getting the headshot knockout, you got the body shot knockout. First of all, you got to give a lot of credit to Ken Frank for stepping up after Raymond Abawali backed out for uh, no particular reason. And uh, I, I give it up to Ken Frank. So I knocked him out with a body shot, and uh, most of my knockouts are from the body. So. I'd like to say uh, thank you to BMB Demolition, bigger and better. Thank you. All right, let's talk about uh, Ken Frank. Did he show you? Did he show you anything at all tonight that uh, caused any problems for you? Uh, it looked as if you were very patient, very calm, cool, and collected in there. Yeah, you know this is a tune-up. I want to. I want to get like uh, whoever's out there, Kels, uh, you know the top guy, Pavlov, or you know, let's go. I want to win the Canadian Championship. I want to bring in, uh, I want to bring Ken Frank in here really quick and just ask Ken, I know Kenny, uh, you took on uh, Big Sky here last second uh, and you told me at the press conference, this is kind of like a dream come true for you having seen him fight before uh, getting in the ring, what kind, of, what, what kind of experience was that for you? Well, it didn't go well as I planned, <laughs> um, but this is okay, so that's good, um, but the thing is, I fought, I took this fight on Monday, and I thought, man, I'm fighting the big man. So uh, I'm really glad I took it. I have no regrets. Um, I, uh, thank you. Um, but I lost to the man. And I just want to tell some heavyweights that, hey, you know what? Some heavyweights who got cut, that some of us still fight. So I, I won't mention names. That's right. That's right. I won't mention names, That's but right. uh, some of us have big, giant balls. You do. That's right. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> big Sky, Thank you. I know you want, I know you want uh, to take that Canadian title. You got Ken Lacouste in your corner. Just one final question. I work a lot with uh, the former two-time Canadian champ. I know he's been working on trying to turn your game around. Are you happy with what he's done with you and uh, how things are progressing for you? All I can say is God blessing. This man right here, Kenny. He's a champion, and uh, I, I take in everything I can from him. This man owes a lot. And uh, he's, he's a true gentleman, and he has a strong character. I, I love him, man. Perfect. Thanks a lot, and congratulations. Thank you. Ty Big Sky Fields, take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. A physical specimen at six foot eight, taking care of Ken Frank here tonight as we continue Canadian professional boxing from the Shaw Conference Center. Don't go away. Our main event just around the corner.